Hello pilots and welcome to a little bit of a different Titanfall video. In this case I don't want to go through specific loadouts, I don't want to show you the gameplay, I just want to talk a little about the different titans, the weapons it has, the unlocks and everything you get. So let's just start from the top with the chassis. The first one you get by default is the Atlas and as you can see here the core ability or there are different things which differ in the different uh, chassis. Um, the Atlas is the first one you get and the ability it has is the damage core. So when your core ability is charged and you get informed on the screen, you hit your activate your core ability. This will boost your damage output while active. The Atlas, other thing Atlas is different from the other uh, Titans is that it has uh, two dash charges saved. So after you've dashed once, you can dash one more time and then you have to wait until your, one of the dashes has recharged. Um, the next in line is the Strider, which is with less... Uh, let's go back here. Strider, less armor, faster moving, has three dashes instead of two. And the core ability uh, dash core, which makes when it's activated. Yep, dash is inexhaustible when active. So you, as soon as you have the dash core activated, you can zip around the map like a, like crazy, which I really like about this um, this specific chassis. Okay, and then last but not least, we have the ogre, which is has the highest armor, highest shield, but only gets one dash. And it gets the shield core ability. Um, the shield core does not make you invincible. It just increases the amount of shield you have. But be careful about this. While you, while it's really powerful, it doesn't mean you can just stomp in the middle of battle with it. Um, yeah. So you see here the different, all the different things which don't really say anything. It's a little bit sad in Titanfall that these like uh, crafts you see down here don't really mean a lot other than the dashes and of course there's the durability change which is you can't feel um but let's move on so that's the uh, three different chassis let's check out the primary weapons so first uh, we have the 40 mm cannon which shoots uh, grenades essentially the normal mode, it just shoots a single shell and shoots quite rapidly. It's uh, semi-automatic, so you always have to press the button to get an extra shot out, essentially. Um, let's check, quickly check the, the mods out. The factory issue is just normal, of course. Burst fire will shoot three shots in one go and also increases your magazine capacity. So the, the overall alpha damage, if you manage to get all three shots in, in this with this uh, mod, is quite quite impressive. Um, extended magazine is the the first unlock you actually get for it, and and is quite useful. The burst fire also means that you your accuracy of course goes down, and the damage for each bullet is a little bit lower. So extended magazine isn't that bad of a, of a difference. You just have to really uh, decide what better fits to your playstyle. Okay, let's move on. The quad rocket got recently boosted and is also a, a quite nice uh, weapon. It's more of a close range in a normal configuration where you shoot four missiles. They, they while well, they keep their formation for a while, they scatter quite a bit. So it's rather hard to snipe anybody using this. But the alpha damage of all four missiles hitting an enemy is quite considerable and even with a, with a, a little bit longer reload time it's still a really good close range weapon you just have to take into consideration that you have to reload quite often and need to step behind the corner while you reload preferably so again has the extended magazine the plus one here means plus four more one shot of four more missiles, so it's actually a plus four. Um, rapid, yeah, and also the five is five volleys of four missiles, not five missiles in one go. Um, rapid fire changes the 
if not unlocked it yet, I couldn't test it, so but it changes the way it works. Instead of shooting four missile, it shoots just one missile, which of course reduces the damage, but increases the accuracy, increases the fire rate, and gives you a lot more missiles. Um, which I'm definitely gonna give a try as soon as I get it, but I'm I'm considering the the quad rocket more of a of a close range weapon than a than a long range weapon. Um, okay, then we have of course a chain gun, um, which is just essentially a machine gun, and don't uh, yeah, this is actually a really dangerous weapon because in my opinion it has one of the highest DPS in the game just because of the amount of ammunition you have and the firing rate you can wither down shields and armor off enemy titans the problem is there's a really low alpha damage so you have to shoot for a while at enemy to actually have a significant impact with the chain gun so let's take a look at the lock, uh, uh, mods again we have the extended magazine 30 additional rounds and the, the accelerator with uh, 90 additional rounds. Additionally, the, the accelerator has a little bit of a drawback where while it says the accuracy is going down this much, it's not that hard of a hit when you fire actually from aimed. Like lift the right click aimed. So, um, but the, the problem it has is that it spins up. So the, the, the drawback of the weapon even gets increased by it because while in the end when you shoot for a while the damage is quite high and higher than in normal mode in the beginning the first few seconds you will not do as do as much damage so again something really has to be considered I'm still not sure what to use yet so um, moving on the plasma railgun which is essentially the, the sniper rifle this is a weapon you charge you uh, aim down the, the sights, it charges, and then you can shoot. You can shoot uncharged, but the damage is a lot less. And uh, that's it already. So again, we have excellent magazine with one additional shot, which is definitely quite nice because the reload time is not too. Oh yeah, it's rather. It's almost like the quad quad, quad four missile launcher reload on this weapon. Uh, instant shot. Removes the the charge time, but also the damage. And so fire rate goes up, but damage goes significantly down. I'm usually uh, the only thing I'm using the the plasma railgun for is last titan standing, and for the reason that you, if you have a fully charged shot and shoot the an enemy, even if you have full uh, shield, they still take armor damage. So it's really good in the beginning to slowly wither down enemies so your team can go and crush them. Or later on in the game, if you have people who had their armor already reduced but had the shield, shield totally recharged again. So you can actually finish these people off in one go rather than having to wither first their shield down and then the hull. So my preferred uh, mod for this is definitely Extended Magazine because without the charging and the massive alpha damage this weapon does, there are better ones out there. Um, so then we have the, the Arc Cannon, which I haven't played a lot with. Um, it's, in my opinion, more of a support weapon. It doesn't really do a lot of damage. It's also a charge weapon. Difference to the uh, Plasma Rifle is the that this charge will just immediately as far as I remember yep it charges and as soon as the charge is full poof, the shot goes out so you can shoot before but latest when the charge is full you will shoot it shoots essentially a, a lightning arc which um, the damage of is mm, okay but nothing to really brag about however it affects sensors on the Titan and on the pilot, so you get the, the scramble as somebody, as if somebody uh, threw an arc grenade or mine at you. So in that sense, if you're running in a team, having one Titan with an arc cannon just to confuse the enemy is not that bad of an idea. 
Um, and the last one is the triple threat, which is essentially a grenade launcher. Mostly works well against um, infantry and um, haven't really had that much success against uh, Titans with it. Um, important to know is that the second firing mode like, it shoots three uh, multiple grenades at the same time in a vertical band. If you switch firing mode, it shoots it in a horizontal band, which is often a lot better to get the grenades into a window or into a door rather than having them spread vertically. Again, my opinion, more of a support weapon than an actual Titan weapon, but if you're running, again, if you're running in a team, having somebody who is really good in taking out the infantry, especially infantry in buildings, is definitely uh, something this weapon is really good at. Again, extended magazine and uh, minefield. Can't really say about anything about either or. Especially the minefield. Extended magazine is a usual thing, but minefields are just again, uh, can't really say anything. <laughs> um, so, let's just move on to uh, ordnance. We have the, the slave, uh, the rocket salvo. Which is um, again one of my favorites because so while the aim is rather bad, it's unaimed, just rocket salvo. If you manage to get close in, the alpha damage it provides is quite significant. So one thing I'm using it essentially for is if I'm on a strider and a fast strider and get around and there's a titan dropping, I wait essentially outside the titan shield as soon as the titan steps out. I hit the, the ordnance button, smash them a full salvo of, of uh, a rocket salvo in the face, and then the shield is gone, and most likely also a little bit of armor, and then finishing them off is not really a problem, especially you have already aim on them, they still have to aim at you. Um, next is the, the slave warhead, which is a lock on missile, which is also a rather good choice in my opinion, because um, while it doesn't provide the alpha damage the, the rocket salvo has, almost all the missiles will hit. The, the enemy titan has to go through quite a bit of effort to uh, avoid these. If the lock-on has... If you locked on and you hit the button, those fly in the direction of the enemy and unless he steps, he or she steps behind cover, they will hit. And they might even swirl around the corner and hit him. Um, hit the enemy titan. So this is more of a like, sniper weapon, and that's what I'm mostly using them for. So in a more long range loadout I usually have the, the slave warheads, in a short range loadout I have the rocket salvo. Um, then uh, the cluster missiles, which are more against infantry. <sighs> Don't know. Not a super fan of it. I, I'm rather... Personally I mainly play as a fast titan nowadays, so Having something which is just against infantry, really useful against infantry, mm, not really my preferred way of doing. However, the the benefit it has is that if you have a loadout which is more of a titan killer, you can use this to even uh, to make sure that, for example, in a in a capture the flag and so on, you actually can engage people inside of houses. And then there's the multi-target missile, which I haven't tried out yet. I have need to see what I'm going to do with it. Maybe yes, maybe no. Let me know if you have any feedback for it. Right, let's get to the tier kits. Um, nuclear ejection. A really simple thing, everybody knows it. Your Titan goes down and it explodes. Um, Regen booster. Just make sure your shield charges faster. So it's usually a really good weapon or a really good uh, kit, tier 1 kit, for any uh, defensive titan, or for example a sniper strider, strider which uh, it just allows you to quicker, when you sit, sit back as a strider, you aim down, step around the corner, shoot, get return fire, and then you sometimes just have to wait until your shield is freshing up again. If you have a Regan booster in, you can step sooner again around the corner and shoot back at the enemy. Um, Fast autoloader uh, improves the load time of your ordnance. Also, really useful if you're f focusing on the ordnance, for example, the rocket salvo combined with a fast autoloader. 
is a really deadly combination, especially because of the amount of alpha damage you get from it. Um, dash quick starter, just recharge just the dashes quickly, more quickly. So I maybe would use it on the Atlas, but this is essentially, in my opinion, mostly a Strider module because that's the one place where you benefit the most of by having three dashes. Um, and then we have the Tactical Reactor, which uh, recharges the tactical ability. Oh yeah, so let's go over these. <laughs> tactical ability of the of the Titan faster. Um, pff, don't really know. I'm the main uh, tactical ability I'm always using is smoke. So unless we actually use the uh, tactical abilities quite often, I don't think this is really the tactical reactor is that big of a benefit. Um, let's quickly go through the tier 2 before we go through the tactical ability. Um, so tier 2 is auto inject, auto inject, which is really good in combination with a core explosion, of course, because you don't have to worry about your own titan exploding in your face. Um, the nuclear ejection always need to be careful about the simple fact that if you do it in a, in a closed space, where you have a roof over your head, you might not make it out. So be always careful when you are in a Titan and you actually want to survive, like for example in a, in a last Titan standing. It can be better not to have nuclear ejection in because you don't kill yourself that easily. Alright, but let's move on. We have Survivor, which uh, you can, for example, run with nuclear ejection together. So instead of Using auto ejection, you just have survivor. You have more time to get out of the Titan and to get away from it. So that's definitely also a viable combination. Core extender extends the core ability you have. So, for example, for a for an ogre, really useful in combination with a with a shield uh, boost it has. Core ability and um, this is definitely good. Also, really good for the in my opinion for the Atlas with the damage because. We just get more damage out. Then we have the big punch, which incre increases the damage the your mech does, uh, Titan does while punching, and more importantly, it increases the knockback you have. So you can punch somebody in the face, they get knocked back, and before they can even react, you can start shooting at them again. And then we have the core accelerator, which just charges your core ability faster than usually. So, last but not least, let's go quickly through the tactical abilities. We have the Vortex Shield to start out with. In. I have seen people do really well with it. I'm personally not the best with it, so it's usually not something I use in my loadouts. Um, electric Smoke is, in my opinion, um, almost a must-have, because one of the most dangerous things in against titans is actually not other titans but pilots and if somebody's riding you and so on they can really quickly smash through uh, the hull armor especially of a strider and take your titan out of business and then we have the particle wall which is just a droppable item creating a wall everybody has seen it i think in game um, haven't really used it a lot um, i've seen uh, in in last titan standing uh, Striders use it, uh, or, or snipers use it, in combination with the, the plasma rifle quite successfully, but for me personally, I think just uh, you just step behind cover, so uh, there's enough cover in the map, so why bring a movable cover with you? Um, yeah, but that's it. Um, however, of course, you can shoot through it from one side, but not from the other, so... Uh, in that sense, it's definitely better cover than a normal um, than just stepping into cover. However, I'm personally very in favor of electric smoke on almost all my loadouts. So, that is already it. Quickly went through all of it. Hope you could get some interesting information out of it. I'm gonna try, on based on popular requests later on today, to... Uh, make another video 
which is more focused on actual Titan loadouts. Um, but we'll see about that, depending on how much time I end up having over the day. Alright, thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the battlefield.